What's up everyone? Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com. Remember those questions I asked for? Well, you click on the link down below, ask me whatever you want. I will get to it sooner or later. This one is from Eddie, Mass Builder. His question is mass building for small guys with fast metabolisms. Eddie, the principles of gaining mass for a small guy with a fast metabolism versus a big guy with a slow metabolism is exactly the same thing. You want to aim to gain 0.5 to 1 pound of, of weight per week. I usually say 2 to 3 pounds per month is a great average. So if January 1st you weigh 150 pounds, if you weigh 152 to 153 pounds, your chances if you're training hard and eating correctly of putting on lean mass versus fat is much more um, greater, um, so to speak. My English sucks today, forgive me. So take it like that, I have a diet out, a book, it's massdiet.com, www.massdiet.com. I'm not saying that's the only way to diet, but it has meal plans. People like things easy, people like things easy to follow. It's really easy to follow, it tells you how to add calories, when to add calories, how to add calories, and from what to add calories. When constructing a mass diet plan, there's also a chart I'm gonna link down below. It's the TDEE chart, the Total Daily Energy Expenditure chart. And you put in your weight, your body type, and all that, and I'm gonna link it down below, it's simple. And boom, it spits out the calories you need. Here's how you set those calories. Go for one to 1.5 grams per pound of body weight of protein. Generally, when starting a mass gaining diet, if you don't know your protein, I like to start at one. Or if you're ready at one, start at one. Okay, then take fat and get 0.5 grams per pound of body weight. So for a 200 pound male, that would be 100 grams of fat. For basically, and then the calories left over, let's you have 1,000 calories left over, divide them by four because there are four calories per gram of carbohydrate. And that'll be the amount of carbohydrates. So basically set protein at 1.1 to 1.5 grams per pound of body weight a day. Okay, then set fat at 0.5 grams per pound of body weight. Fill in the rest of the carbohydrates. Food choices, you're bulking, man. Have a little fun, but make sure 70 to 80% of your calories are in the form of healthy whole foods, you know, um, oatmeal, chicken, um, fruits, veggies, things like that, sweet potatoes, micronutrient-dense foods, okay? That's one thing. And, uh, you know, one thing I recommend if you have trouble getting in calories, I like a whole food pro uh, mass gainer. You don't have to take one. Personally, when I'm having trouble getting calories in, I drink MTS Nutrition Epic Gains. The caramel macchiato tastes better than anything at Starbucks. And um, it's just, it's good, and it has fruits and veggies built in. One thing I found, even with myself, when you have bodybuilders who are bulking, we tend to forget about fruits and veggies because we're so concerned with getting calories in. So essentially, here's the, here's the way you do it. You want to eat to gain two to three pounds per month. You want to keep protein at one to 1.5 grams per pound of body weight. You want to keep fat at 0.5 grams per pound of body weight, and then you keep carbs at the, the at, and the carbs will be the difference. Now, when you get your TDEE, here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna increase the calories it gives you by 250 or 240. 240 is 60 grams of carbs. So essentially, you set your baseline, set your TDE, set those macros, add 60 grams of carbs. That's your starting weight. If you gain too fast, it's your starting diet. If you gain too fast, cut it back 60 grams. If you lose, bump it up 60. If you had a stick point, you don't gain a pound after one and a half to two weeks, bump the calories up. Again, it's all about adjusting, but again, if you go to massdiet.com, it explains it. And also for training, um, there's a few good ones. If you go on the content site, there's Core 4, there's VPO 10, there's so many great training systems out there. Find the one that fits you best and hit it hard. And uh, essentially for cardio, this is beyond the scope. Cardio, I like to keep when bulking. Unless you're coming off a diet, then you want to slowly taper down. If you're bulky, I generally recommend about 20 minutes, three to four times a week just for overall health. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Questions, link it down below. This shirt is available on TigerFitness.com. I'll link it down below. Um, dude, you got to eat. Basically, the difference between fat guys bulking and lean guys bulking is the amount you eat. That's not a game.